Hi, um, we're here today to walk you through our new HSC remote operating model. And in the true spirit of remote working, we're recording this from my front room, respectively, um, Alan's study. So there will be dogs tapping through, there will be cats and all the challenges that remote working brings with it. But of course, remote working also brings a huge amount of opportunities and benefits. And what 2020 has shown what the whole world and challenged the whole world with is how to harness the opportunities in remote working and come up with, with new and innovative solutions of delivering the same value remotely. And consultancy companies aren't exempt from this trend. This is why at Agency Partners, we have developed and tested a fully remote operating model, which we're now ready to roll out to your clients. So in addition to being COVID safe, there's a wide range of benefits remote working can bring you. It is more flexible. Typically, a consultancy intervention will take a huge chunk out of your working time and on-site operating time uh, because there's travel involved. So we would come to your site to deliver a five-day Kaizen. Remotely, we can break this up and at to as low as it fits you an impact to your operation. It is cost saving in that uh, there are no peripheral costs such as travel expenses and so on. It becomes much easier to consolidate and measure because all remote activities are recorded fully electronically. And then the model we've developed also ensures that a higher level of engagement than is often the case of the site management because we're involving them hands-on through becoming our eyes and ears and providing them with a, a video camera to help us see what's going on on site. And of course, the additional benefit of that is that video recordings are easy to share. So you can share them with your wider community in your business. You can share them with your steering committee and senior leaders. And again, create a higher level of engagement in your change process. Alan, do you want to walk us through um, how this is going to work in detail? Certainly, yeah. So typically within a, a consulting intervention, there are three distinct phases. There's, there's data collection, which is the first one. And obviously we're not on site, but we're providing a, a video, video camera to the leadership team. And as you said, Sonia, they become our eyes and ears. Now, by asking them to gather the data, um, to take a film of the area that needs to be improved, they're already gaining a far deeper understanding of it than they would necessarily have. Uh, something happens uh, when you look at something on a video film, you become much more objective about what is happening within that film. So that's the first advantage that we have. Uh, the second phase is the assessment phase. And in this, we're reviewing the data that we've gathered, the, the, the video film, if you like, plus peripheral information that we'll um, ask them to collect for us. And we're making an assessment of um, uh, what the intervention is going to look like. Um, now, by involving the, the leadership team directly in this again, their input is uh, much clearer and their involvement in the third phase then, which is the, the change phase, is much stronger. They're much clearer about what should happen and they become much more effective leaders of the change. So in order to engage the change team then, which is in the, in the intervention or the delivery phase, um, we would hold a video conference. Again, the, the a uh, great advantage that has come out of lockdown and COVID-19 is that everybody is much more comfortable with video conferencing. It is every day. It is commonplace. And we don't uh, foresee a lack of engagement here because embedded within all of these electronic tools is the whiteboard. Now, typically, we'd use a flip chart or a whiteboard. We can use this electronically as well. And of course, everything is being recorded. So when we get into the in-depth discussions, which happen inevitably, we reach agreement. It is recorded for posterity. So if we need to go back to it, we need to refresh ourselves, we can. So we have the, the, the conference, the meeting, 
Um, again, this can be as short or as long as necessary. Uh, but at some stage, we decide we're going out, we're going to make the changes to the area. Now, this can be done uh, with us or without us. Uh, the without us model, fine, we, we cut the conference, guys go out and do something, and we pick up with them again later. With us, we simply get taken along uh, with a smartphone. Somebody carries a smartphone, which is videoing, recording what's happening, and uh, also through an earpiece, we can be directly involved in the change. So we can be as present then as we would be normally if we were on site. So in these phases and, and through the delivery of this work, we can see significant advantages um, that would not have been present if we were on site. Um, sure, we can see some uh, disadvantages, some um, more time taken up for the senior team. But uh, from what we can see, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages by some measure, and it keeps change moving during these difficult lockdown days. So really, we see um, significant upsides in employing this model. Yes, and we hope so do you. So, and if you want to understand more or if you want to talk about a specific engagement with us uh, using our remote operating model, do get in touch with us uh, on the AJC Partners LinkedIn or directly on our website, ajcpartners.co.uk, where you can contact us over the contact section or then directly over email with Alan or myself, Alan or respectively Sonia at ajcpartners.co.uk. Thank you. Thank you.